We are celebrating some of the best moments from the shows I did without an audience. So as a warning, what you're about to see are a bunch of clips from the recent past and not, I repeat, not your life flashing before your eyes. <laughs> so if your life consists mostly of clips from my show, I'd say that's a life well lived. <laughs> now, for the first time with an audience, some of my favorite guest appearances from before I returned to the theater. Jim, please welcome to A Late Show, Chris Rock. Hello, Chris Rock. Wow. No music, nothing. Nope. Nope. Nothing. No. Welcome to the desert. Wow. Those, those Charlie Rose pills are kicking in, man. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Listen, uh, I just want to get this out there. You recently recorded Fearless Taylor's version, so I got to ask, is the song Hey Steven about me? No, Steven. I, I mean, I first recorded that song in 2008. I think I was like 18. Yeah, I was also a younger age. Right, yeah, I mean, you were probably about 44 years, 179 days old, give or take, you know, several wow. hours. Wow, that is shockingly specific. I'm walking backstage, and yes. who's and walking look, toward me? Let's not kid ourselves. We both stopped flat in our tracks, <laughs> separated at birth, long lost brothers, doppelganger. Well, you and know. It was like, I, was like, I was looking in a mirror. You I, froze. I, I, am, we spoke I am a word. fan. I am a fan. It was like, it was, it was like we seen as like, oh, wait, one of us has to die now. This is one of those clone <laughs> movies. One of those clone... No, shoot him! No, shoot him! Are you sure Hey Steven isn't about me? It's just the power of music, Steven. Good songs, they just make you feel like it's about you, but I Well, mean... Hey Steven is definitely a good song. Thank you. Yeah, it was really fun to record it again. In fact, to get me back in the same headspace as when I wrote it, I just wanted it to be really authentic as an experience, okay. so I dug out um, my, my old mood board. Okay. Um, Taylor, those are all pictures of me. No. <laughs> this is a pizza. Uh, by the way, this is the only photo I have of me ever playing tennis. I want to get your opinion of my style. Here you go. This was me with uh, James. Who, who am I playing against here? This is me against James Blake. That's me jump, try, attempting to jump over. <laughs> Um, it looks like you got caught up there in a few different ways. I hope you're okay. I'm fine. But yeah, um, right. the styling could use a little more, be a little more modern. I mean, I'm always about the 80s. It looks like it's very but 80s. I'm, but you know, I'm the classics, you know. I'm the sort of a Renee yeah, Lacoste kind of guy. Classic could still be a little looser. A little looser? Yeah. A little looser. A little looser? A little looser, a little looser on the bottom. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> It really, and this is not vanity, it just really seems like the song is about me. Don't flatter yourself. Hey Steven is not about you any more than my album 1989 is about that year you spent waiting tables on the lunch shift at Scoozy, an Italian restaurant in the River North area of Chicago that, by the way, serves a really incredible slice of pizza. How, how, how do you even know that? Dr. Fauci, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Steven. I appreciate it. I, I've, I've wanted to have you on for a year. We've tried to have you on almost every week for a year. We couldn't ever get you. Around January 20th, your schedule really opened up. What, what changed? Everything. <laughs> have you ever fantasized about dumping a horse's head into Rand Paul's yeah. bed? <laughs> no. No, no, but I think he may be a fan of size to doing it the other way with me. <laughs> I've never revealed this before to anyone, but Hey Stephen is about Stephen King. Do you have a Biden? Do you, have, you, have you worked on your Biden yet? Here's the deal. Let me, let me just, I'm not kidding around. No joke, folks. You know, my dad lost his job in Scranton. I lost my dog. I'm, no, I'm not kidding. I'm not being a wise guy. You know, don't, don't. <laughs> And, and he always does the list, number one, the one part. Number two, what they said. Number three, you get the drill. Come on, the dog pay, pays pony soldier. You know, it's just a lot. That's not good. Come on. That's what people said. No matter how much you insist that Hey Steven isn't about me, I keep getting the strong feeling 
that it is. That's really, that seems like a you thing <laughs> for you to sort of process. Mm -hmm. um, but the, f the thing about that feeling that I think yes. that maybe you should yes. address within yourself, I think it's something that you should process and then take the feeling that you're feeling. Yes, my valid feeling. And just shake it off, right? But that song is about you. Hold on, I have to get this. Oh, it's what? Stephen King. I have to go. Hey, Stephen. Taylor Swift, everybody. Go, I knew go. it. I knew it. When we come back, I get up close and personal with John Krasinski.